Welcome back to Dreamfall. So I've made one slight change since I last played. I forced anisotropic filtering in the drivers, so textures look a lot better when viewed at an angle. Like, look at this, look at the wood. Stay sharp. Much, much better. Okay, let's continue. I think I need to climb the scaffolding at the tower. I'm not exactly sure why, but I think that's what I need to do. Uh, wait, do I have a... Nope. Nothing... nothing in here. If I would trust anyone with my life, it would be Chuan. He's never let me down, and he's never going to abandon the fight. Watch your back, Raven. We have to travel light, and we have to stay packed, just in case. If there's one thing we have enough of, it's weaponry. What we need more of is food, warm clothes, and medicine. So, what are we doing tonight? We are not doing anything. You're staying here with Chuan. I'm going out. What? You can't go on a mission without us. I'm not going on a mission, Bren. I'm just taking a walk. Right. And that girl didn't ask you for help. Which girl? The one who disappeared. The one from Star... From that place that we can't talk about. She asked for your help, and you just dismissed her. Mm, let's explain. Bryn, you don't understand. That girl Zoe, she was asking for the impossible. I left her world behind a decade ago. I swore to never go back, and, and now I can't. Even if I wanted to. There are other matters to attend to. Other people who depend on me. On us. Whatever it was she was asking for, she'll have to find it somewhere else. Trust me, it's not impossible. I don't agree. If you hadn't risked your life to save mine, I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be fighting on your side, and there'd be a lot more Azadi walking around. You took a chance when you killed those soldiers back then, and it paid off, didn't it? I'm alive, and I'm on your team. It was risky, but it was the right thing to do. It's not the same thing. This is our world. Whatever goes on in the other world, it doesn't concern us. I think you're wrong, but it doesn't matter what I think. I'm still just a kid to you, right? Bryn. Bryn! <sighs> Naane joined my outfit only a few months ago, but she's proven to be a valuable asset. Her magic is very powerful. Will you need any assistance tonight, April on? I'll go alone. There may not be a curfew yet, but the soldiers will still notice two or three, or they would ignore one. That is true, and I need to speak with someone who can supply us with the herbs, potions, and medicines we need. Well, with Torbear in jail and Hamish doing business with the Azadi, Old Town's our best bet, but it closes with the sun. Tomorrow morning, then. First thing. Sounds good, but you'll have to go alone. Chuan and Bryn are taking care of the food tomorrow. Benrime is helping them get in touch with some sympathizers. So be it. I shall make inquiries in Old Town in the morning. May the stars shine on you and your endeavors tonight, April on. Or what is it you sometimes say? Break a foot? <laughs> Break a leg. <laughs> but I like may the stars shine on you better, Naane. Oh my god, wait, is this the... Is this the room? The back room? It is! I finally got to see what's in it! And the answer is, uh, some... Tables that are... Put away. Mystery solved. Ben Rimei's burned all the forbidden books. And she's bought a bunch of Azadi approved ones. No one reads those. Azadi approved. Wonderful. I don't know any of the people who come here anymore. The ambience here in the journeyman sure has changed since my last visit to the city. Okay, let's avoid talking to the random NPCs. 
because they never have anything interesting to say. Where are you going at this hour? Business. I may return late. Well, you know where the key is, April. Keep an eye on Bren. Make sure he doesn't follow me. That boy. He takes after you, April. He adores you. You have a responsibility to... Responsibility? There's that word again. He's an adult. I can't babysit Bryn forever. You saved his life. You're the only family he has. Do not forget that. You may seek danger, even death yourself. But do not forget that others rely on you. They should find someone else to rely on. I can't be anyone's guardian angel. Or mother. You have little faith in yourself and others, child. But I shall not bother you with my lecturing anymore. I have work to do. Good luck tonight. Whatever it is you're doing. Take care of yourself. If not for your sake, then for everyone else's. Wow, this place really is beautiful. The lights just flickered. I don't mean in game, I mean in real life. Hope the power's not about to go out. That would suck. Ah, oh, damn it, there's a guard over by the scaffolding. Hmm. Do I have anything? No. Shit. Can I just sneak? Like this? They actually might not be able to see me. Okay, this is extremely slow, but uh, fine. I'll sneak. <clears throat> come on, come on. You know, I should probably save the game. Because I want to avoid combat. And it's possible if I get seen, combat might happen. Here we go. Come on. Oh man, it's gonna be a bitch to climb up there without being heard. I mean, I'm like two feet behind him. Unless I can knock him out? I need to find a way onto the scaffolding, but not until I've taken care of that guard. Okay, okay, I need to knock him out. Come on, come on. I'll need to find a way to get onto the scaffolding without being spotted. What? Well, can you knock him out? I'll need to find a way to get onto the scaffolding without being spotted. Uh, when I, I'm in a perfect position to knock him out. Can I knock him out, please? I'll need to find a way. I'll need to find a. I'll need to find a way to get onto the scaffolding without. Okay, let me. Ju you know, I'm not gonna sneak. I'm gonna walk back. What are you doing? Oh shit! Alarm! Alarm! No. Okay. Oh, game. Anyway. Alright, so what the hell am I supposed to do here? If I don't knock him out, then what? I mean, can I just go up and talk to him? Hello. Halt, citizen. This area is closed. Please leave immediately. I will not warn you a second time. Get out of here. Okay, that didn't work. Not surprisingly.
The curfew begins at midnight. Make certain you're home by then. Okay, that didn't work either. Can I throw a stone or something? I mean, I don't have one. Why don't I just throw a snowball at the guard and then run away? Make him chase me. Well, I can't grab a piece of wood. I don't have many options here. The guards are a bit more vigilant at night. I should stay away from them. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, I'm confused. And there's nothing in there. The guards are a bit more vigilant at night. Do I need to get someone's help to help me distract them? All the taverns down here lost most of their business when the Azadi moved the harbor west. The taverns and bars down here... Whoops. The taverns and bars down here by the south gate had to close when traffic moved west of Old Town. I don't know what these machines do. Heat houses, flush toilets, generate power, but they're becoming ubiquitous. Oh yeah, it's that creepy blue flame. I don't know what these machines... That gate is firmly locked at night. No one gets in, and absolutely no one gets out. Damn it. I don't think I can do anything here at all. No. Do I just have him call the alarm and then beat him up? I mean, what? That's so stupid, though. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, what the hell can I do back here? Can I, I don't know, grab a plank of wood from this wood pile or something? Nope. I need to find a way onto the scaffolding, but not until I've taken care of that guard. What if I just touch him? He doesn't seem to care. Wait, what? You're kidding me, I just needed to get like an inch closer. Alright. Yeah, this window ha has me, uh, gives me about a thousand opportunities to be spotted. Because there's basically nowhere to take cover. Holy crap, what a window. I guess I need to take cover behind one of these pillars. The door is slightly ajar. Oh. She keeps her desk clean. I don't know if that's a good sign. Or a bad one.
Well, I can't go through there right now, because she would obviously see me. If I do that, I'm sure to be noticed. I'm not sure if I can walk across here even without being noticed. The delays are out of my hands, Prophet. Rebel raids in the north have impeded deliveries of the necessary raw materials, and further reinforcements from Sadir are not... Of course, I understand perfectly. We will finish on time. We have taken on more workers, and we are making progress by the day. We will reclaim the time lost, Prophet. The tower will stand ready for the inauguration. I swear by the Six that I shall not disappoint you. Sadir has sent an apostle to take care of that... particular problem. They say that he is one of the best, though I have yet to meet him in person. He arrives soon. As you wish, Prophet. I will put my most trusted man to the task. Please, I... Yes. You have made that abundantly clear on several occasions. It will not come to that. I will not fail you. All will be as you have asked, Prophet. May the Goddess bless your path, Prophet. Her light will wash across this world and cleanse it of evil. That was... strange. I should try and follow him. Find out who this mysterious person is. <sighs> Alisa, bring me my supper. I shall be dining in my office tonight. Alright, I've got to follow the... dark-robed guy who whispers. So what, am I following Palpatine, basically? <clears throat> Where is he? I'm guessing he's gonna come out the front door. There we go. Hey, that's the man I saw in the emissary's office. No, that's another dark-robed guy. I should follow him. I'd like to find out who this prophet is. Excuse me, sir, did you know that it's not Halloween? Where did he go? He's not gonna like jump out and strangle me, is he? Uh. Coldstone Gate used to be open day and night. Not anymore. I'm guessing he went down here? And they're certainly not gonna let me pass, are they? I, I don't think they will. You can't come through here. There's a curfew. The ghetto will reopen in the morning. That's what I thought. So... Oh, I can actually go up here. Is there anything up here? Nope. So how do I get in there, then? Do I just fight them? 
That'd be a bit stupid. Benrime? Yes, what is... Oh, April. You've returned. Good. Did you want something? Where did the man in the cloak go? Who? The man who just walked through the door. He was wearing a hooded cloak. No one fitting that description has been in here, April. It's a slow night, I would have noticed. That's impossible. I saw him walk in here with my own eyes. Well, I may be old, child, but I am not blind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. I know I saw him walk in here. He couldn't have just vanished. I... Well, apparently I totally missed that, because I did not see him walk in here. Okay, well, I'm guessing he's probably in the creepy basement. Benrime installed that mechanical beer tap to stay on good terms with Mizari. She hates using it. It keeps breaking down. Excuse me. Jesus. That was quick. Oh, here we go, Japan. The, uh, what factory? Olivia? Wadi? Yes, Wadi Corp? It's me. Are you <laughs> You're the bad weather. What? You're breaking up, Liv. Static's getting worse by the hour. Parts of the wire are down. Can you hear me? Barely. This is crazy. I know. We'll have to keep it short. Any news about Reza? Not yet. But I just arrived in Wati City. What's it like there? Nice. Chilly, but nice. What's going on? Still working. Reza's contacted Wati Corp. He protects his sources well. In the meantime, you'll need to find a way inside the corporate campus. I didn't get all of that, Liv, but call me when you have a name, okay? Hello? Won't take long. The encryption's military grade, but I'm almost there. Okay, that's good. I should get going. Oh, and Olivia? Yes, sweetie? Thank you. I really appreciate the help. Don't be silly. Friend too. I'd turn the world upside down to find him. I know. Thanks anyway. The connection's deteriorating, sweetie. I'll get back to work and ring you up as soon as I have something. Bye! I think most everyone here works for Watty Corp. I'm guessing Wadi Corp is a freaking huge company. It looks like they have their own castle. There's only chewing gum left. I don't even like gum. Every pack comes with a special Wadi sticker. Okay, that's something. I'm guessing I'm going to need that for a puzzle. So, can I get one? I'll need to use my mobile to make a purchase. Hey, there's a free sticker inside. It's a colourful sticker with a cartoon Wattilla on it. It says, chew you later. I don't get it. Neither do I. What the hell does that mean? Chew you later. Gum. What if I combine the gum with the phone? <gasps> oh, damn it. Ticket machine. It sells tickets to the Watty Corp Museum. Out of order. Please purchase your tickets at the ticket office. Damn it. So typical. I need my mobile to use the machine. And they're closed. The ticket office is closed. <clears throat> of course. This just isn't my day. 
Hello? Anyone there? No, of course not. That would be too easy. Hello. You do know it's snowing, right? And you're wearing a skirt? Are you okay? Everyone's waiting for Watikorp to reveal what Project Alchera is all about. I think it's a new robot to replace the Watilla. Oh, Project Alchera. I've seen that's what I saw in some of those ads. I'm guessing that that weird flower thing that they're testing on people is probably somehow related to Wadicorp and Project Alchera. Testing for a new product or something like that. And of course, all of that is probably related to the static somehow. All right, so it looks like there's a um what are those things called? Cable car or something? I, I don't know. Looks like there's a transport pod on a wire that will take me over there. Whatever they're called. But it also looks like I can walk. I think I need a ticket to go through here. There's a walkway over to the other side of the canyon, but it's blocked by these turnstiles. Yeah, I need a ticket. Okay, let's go the other way. Well, he looks suspicious. What are you looking at? Hmm? Hmm? Hey, don't fucking look at me, man. What do you want? Looks like he's ready to punch something. I'm guessing he's just impatient. It's empty. The dustbin automatically incinerates its contents every ten minutes or so. That's actually a really good idea, but also very inconvenient for me. It looks like he's waiting for someone. I think most everyone here works for Watty Corp. Hey, let's see if... Let's see if this child sounds like a 30-year-old woman, like all the other children in this game seem to. Hello there. Oh. Hello, miss. My name's Zoe. What's yours? Huh? Oh. I'm Rico, Miss Zoe-san. Nice to meet you, Rico. Nice to meet you, too. Eh, kind of, kind of sounds in between. Doesn't sound like a full-grown woman exactly. Doesn't exactly sound like a child. I'm guessing it's an okay impersonation. Impersonation of a child. It's decent. Are you okay, Rico? You don't look very happy. Hmm? Oh. Well, my big brother Ren was supposed to look after me while grandmother and my little brother Hiro went to the museum. But then Ren met this girl, and he left me here by myself. Now Ubasan and Hiro are at the museum, and I don't have a ticket. That doesn't sound very nice of Ren. He likes girls. More than he likes me, anyway. Well, honey, that's men for you. Can't you just call your grandma? I tried, but I can't get through. And since the machine is broken, I can't buy a ticket. So now I have to wait here until they come back. Well, that's sad. Wait, can I... Can I ask her the same thing again? What is... Why is this still here? When's your grandma coming back? I don't know. Uba-san really wanted to go to the museum. And she's very slow sometimes. So maybe at closing time? That's not for several hours. You'll catch a cold. I'm sure I'll be fine. It's not that cold. It's snowing. Do you know how to get to the museum? Hmm? Oh. Y yes. You have to ride the cable car, but you need a ticket to do that. Where can I buy a ticket? The ticket office is closed on Sundays, and the machine is broken, so you can't. Well, great. I've progressed absolutely nowhere. Alright, what about you? You know... Let me just predict something here. He seems impatient. He's waiting for someone. Maybe I can convince him to give me his ticket? Should be here 
right now. Uh, so we mess in? Huh? Ah, uh, Gamenasai. I thought you were someone else. I apologize. Who did you think I was? Huh? Oh, my fiance, Yuriko. She's late. She's never this late. I tried calling her, but there was just... just static. Ah, who am I kidding? She probably decided not to come. Mm. Why would you say that? We've been having problems lately. It's all my fault. How so? I've been too busy with work. I haven't paid as much attention to her as she deserves. Well, if you've prioritized your work instead of... That's not... That's not entirely true. My supervisor, he's been on my back lately. I've tried to tell Yuriko it's only temporary, but... Well, communication is usually the key, so let's go for that. You know, communication is really important in a relationship. You can't just put up a wall. Tell her what's going on at work. Ask for her advice. If you include her, it will bring the two of you closer together. You're right. I just hope it's not too late to make things better. I was hoping this trip to the museum could give us a chance to really talk. A romantic date at a corporate museum? This relationship is bust. Oh god, well I can be selfish and say not at the museum, because I want his ticket. It doesn't really matter where they talk though, so... Yeah, let's go with that. Yes, talking is important, but... You know, maybe the museum isn't the best place to talk to her. No? She seemed to like it the last time we were there. Uh, well, he's probably right. But I'm gonna go with this, just to see what happens. All the more reason to take her somewhere else. Yes. Yes, you're right. I'm so stupid. What should I do? Women love it when guys are impulsive and romantic. Take her to dinner. Sweep her off her feet. Eureka does love surprises. And we haven't really gone out on a date in so long. I'll take her to that Indian place on... Wait! That's her! That's Yuriko! She's here! Thank you so much for your help. You saved our relationship. Thank you. Yuriko! Yuriko! Over here! I'm sorry I'm late, Kenji. There was a technical problem with the train. I tried to call, but the static... Oh! Don't worry about it, Yuriko. You're here now. Look. I want to talk to you about something. What is it? It's nothing bad. I just want to talk. I've been very distant lately, and I want to make up for it. You don't have to apologize for having to work long hours. I understand. Well, I know you understand. But it's not just about work. I haven't been there for you as much as I've wanted to. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Not at the museum, though. We're going somewhere else. Where? It's a surprise. A surprise? Really? But Kenji, you don't like surprises. I do. I just haven't shown you that side of me yet. Hold on one second, Yuriko. Thanks for your help. Here. I know it's not much, but I want you to have these tickets. We won't be needing them. Thank you, and good luck. Who was that? My guardian angel, I think. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it later. Let's go. Well, I've successfully meddled in someone's relationship. The relationship between two complete strangers. He was strangely receptive to my advice. Anyway, at least something actually nice happened in this game instead of horrible things.
God, look at that fog down there. Now I'm depressed again. Listen to the eerie wind. So empty and cold. <sighs> but no, I just saved someone's relationship, apparently. Let's focus on that. And also, let's give this young child woman uh, a ticket. Rico? Yes? Oh, hello, Miss Zoe-san. I managed to get hold of an extra ticket for you. Oh, really? Thank you so much, Miss Zoe-san. Now I can go to the museum to find Ubasan and Hiro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god, that's a horrible animation. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like she's some sort of horrible wind-up toy. Don't you want to have a seat? And I changed my mind about her sounding sort of in between a ch child and a full-grown woman. She actually just totally sounds like a full-grown woman. You're just gonna stare? Okay. Alright, that's fine. Hey, let's see if this random person wants gum. I guess not. Potty chew. Packed with juicy Wattilla goodness. Oh, wait a minute. I think I just... I think you can use the arrow keys to trigger these things. So let's see, you click, and then you can either click the options, but let me press the right... Let me press D for right. Yeah, okay. And then I think space... Whoops. I'm guessing space will also do it. This? No, it won't. Okay, so left click and then you can use gum. arrow keys. Interesting. What you chew? Gum. What gum? What gum? What gum? Interesting. Alright, let's go. Cable car. I suppose that's the ticket. Oh, okay. It's for getting into the cable car and across the canyon to the museum. Well, how do I use my ticket? It's a sticker. Oh, wait, that's a sticker. That's not the ticket. Whoops. Now we're staring Welcome opposite directions. Welcome to Corp, inventors of the Wattilla, the bunny bot, and the most popular and advanced entertainment technology in the world. Please take a seat and stand clear of the closing doors. We will be departing shortly. You're about to go on an exciting journey into the heart of Wattie Corp and experience the amazing history behind one of the planet's most successful corporations. From the Wati Entertainment System to the Wattilla and beyond, Wati Corp has provided mankind with love, happiness, and billions of hours of entertainment. And in just a few months, Wati will unveil a revolution in home entertainment with the most exciting new product in our 200-year history, Project Alchera. This is a great time to be part of our ever-expanding happy family. The future of entertainment is Wattie Bright. Please ensure that you have all your belongings with you when you leave the car. Enjoy your visit to the Wattie Corp Museum. Hey, so do you have a name for me? The name told you I'd... Encryption. So, are you inside yet? The line's even worse than before, Liv. I can barely hear you. Hold on, let me... There. I've switched us over to a classified eye channel. That should stabilize things quite a bit. Of course, the eyes agent software will also light up like a Christmas tree, so we need to be quick. Are you inside Wattie Corp yet? Working on it. Add a girl. So, the person you need to get in touch with is one Damien Cavanaugh, with a C. And an A-U-G-H. And an A-V-A-N in the middle. Reza was in touch with Kavanaugh through Rio Kuruki, the dead girl in his apartment. Rio and Damien worked together. I remember Reza talking to Rio on the phone when I last saw him. 
So Damien Kavanagh's the source. How do I find him? He's a resident of Wati City, but he's not currently on the wire. I believe Wati Corp's shielded. Mobiles won't work inside the main campus. If he's not on the wire, he must be at work. Either that or the static's messing things up. We'll have to bet on the former, since I'm already heading into the lion's den. Where exactly does he work? Don't know. I could dig into the Wati databank, but it might trigger some alarms. And we don't want to trigger any alarms, sweetie. I do know that Ryo Kuruki worked as a systems analyst in biotech and that Kavanaugh's in software. I'll keep digging, and I'll send you a message if I find any more info on the guy. We should stick to just messages from now on. This connection's too risky, and the static's interfering with everything else. Okay. I will find him. I have to find him. Good luck, sweetie. And be careful. Shit. Agents have locked on. Got to run. Liv? Olivia? I hope she's okay. All right, Damien Kavanaugh. What are you doing? Get away from there. That exhibit is very expensive. It's not meant to be touched. Hero, what are you doing? I told him to keep his hands off the exhibit, sir. I apologize for my grandson's behavior. You should do a better job of keeping your grandson in check, ma'am. If you do that again, Hero, we're going straight home. And you're not getting any dessert tonight. <laughs> yeah, you little shit. not giving him dessert. Just don't even feed him for a week. You don't deserve food. You little hipster shit. What are you wearing? Holy crap, that is a huge robot. Is that sized up or is that actually the size you buy it at? Because that would scare the hell out of me. Touching the exhibits will trigger the alarm. Before a more realistic, gorilla-like Wattilla was put into production, this early prototype was tested in limited release. It had many of the same mannerisms as the final Wattilla, but it lacked our favorite friend's furry appearance and soothing personality. Unlike the Wattilla we know today, the prototype was also programmed to randomly wet itself a feature that met with much controversy and frustration. Why would you program that into it? Jesus. Aren't these things supposed to be toys? Why would you want to take care of it? Well, actually, wait, what? I mean, there are toys that you have to take care of, I know that. But... That just brought up another question. Are these actually meant to just be toys, or are they actually supposed to be helpful devices. I mean, let's think of Wonkers. Let's see, he wants to play games, so you can play games with him, of course. But he also tells me about news, and he also reminds me of appointments. So I'm guessing it's kind of both. It's kind of half entertainment, half like a personal assistant sort of thing. So yeah, having to take care of it, that's just a horrible idea. If it was just a toy, then maybe. But when it's also an assistant, then you don't want to have to take care of it. Because it's supposed to assist you, not the other way around. Holy crap, what is this thing? It's hideous. Little Big Cat was Watty Corp's first furry toy bot. Accompanied by a very popular animated show, The Amazing Adventures of Little Big Cat and Bob, it proved to be a huge success. The show ran for eight years and ended with a very special episode where Bob... The reformed child murderer killed, mm. boiled, and ate Little Big Cat. Fans have been demanding the return of Little Big Cat, and Watty Corp is currently considering bringing this popular and twisted toy bot back to the market and to your screens. 
Sounds like a lovely show. The original Roboy has gone through many design changes in the past century. These two versions, from 2132 and 2159 respectively, were slight variations on Dr. Pete's original award-winning design. The Roboy on the right-hand side of the display is still considered by some to be what is ultimate marriage between form and function. And there's good old wonkers. The fourth generation Wattilla, introduced in 2198, has become the most successful toy bot in history. With its complex emotional response system and friendly demeanor, the Wattilla is a beloved friend and companion for billions of children and adults. What's next for Watty's favorite toy bot? We aren't telling, but the future sure looks waterific. Oh my god, shut up. Is there supposed to be something in this one? Is that a spider bot? On that picture up there? That'd be a bit creepy. Want some gum? Nah, she doesn't want gum. Roboy seen here in its original version, was Watty Corp's fifth generation humanoid robot. Designed by Dr. Alvin Peets himself and released in 2104, it became an immediate bestseller. This particular design lasted for almost 20 years. Roboy is known for his winning personality, his helpful attitude, and his dogged persistence. He is also known for being the first robot with ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And that looks like a hand scanner. It's a biometric scanner, probably linked to some primary authentication mechanism, like a voice code or an access card. Hmm. It's a staff only entrance. It probably leads into the main building, which is exactly where I need to be. Can I just hack it with my phone? I'm guessing that would be too easy. Uh. Hey! That door is for staff only. Really? I'm sorry. I was, um, looking for a bathroom. No bathroom. Staff only. Sorry. The only way I'm getting past that as if Olivia gives me a hand. Not literally, of course. That would be so, so wrong. What kind of a museum? What? Oh god, that animation. Wow, wow, look at those feet. What are you doing here? Obazan told you to stay with Ren. Yes, but Ren left me and I was all by myself. But then this nice lady helped me and- Ha ha, you're such a crybaby. <laughs> Shut up, I am not a crybaby. R2, crybaby, crybaby, crybaby. Well, you at your bed and you're afraid of the dark. Liar, I'm not afraid of anything. Yes, you are. You're afraid of everything and you're a chicken. I'm not. I'll prove it. He's a horrible voice actor. One of the worst voice actors I've ever seen. Yeah, trigger that alarm. Go ahead. Jesus, did he lose his voice or something? Gojira. Hey, wouldn't he deactivate those robots and take out their power source? Gojira. Oh my hero, what have you done? That's it, young man. We're going home. Just you wait until your mother hears about this. Yeah, whoever voice acted that little kid is a horrible voice actor. He was just reading the lines with no emotion whatsoever. Did you hear him when he said, ha ha? He, he literally said it like that. Ha ha. Wow. 
This is just fail in so many ways. Terrible voice acting, terrible animations, and... Okay, I need to get out of here before that alarm drives me crazy. Hero's going to be in so much trouble for that. Oh, thank you again for the tickets, Miss so -so. Okay, so, what do I need to do here? He looks a bit glum. Do you want some gum? Nope. I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Well, can I hack it now? He doesn't seem to be paying attention. Okay, here we go. I wasn't paying attention to the timer, I guess I took too long. Let's do that again. Did I just fuck it up? Damn it, I must have picked the wrong one. Fuck. Alright, once again. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's no way I'm gonna get it. Go. It's a right. I've gotta find them early, or it's just not gonna work. And took too long. So many fucking symbols. Jesus. Wrong one. Oh, and now I just lost time. Alright, there's one. There's another. There's another. Alright, plenty of time. Plenty of time. And there we go. Okay, let's go. never change. Wow, that is a comically large air vent. What? They don't make them that big. They just don't need to be that big. Ever. I feel like I'm playing Half-Life again. Someone forgot to close their locker. Forgetful fool! I will pillage your locker. There's a uniform in here. It probably belongs to a maintenance worker or a cleaner. Well, let's put it on. Alright. Looking pretty inconspicuous. Wait, wasn't that... Closed just a second ago? It's a ventilation duct used by the bots to connect between different parts of the building. It won't budge. I'll need to wait until that bot comes back. Oh, I need to put some trash on the ground, don't I? Let me guess, sticker or... Shit, the lights just flickered again. Please don't go out, power. Um. Probably a sticker or gum? Not that. Oh, or maybe I just need to wait. Okay. Locked. This is a really pretty place. New? 
Um, I'm not going to tell her the truth. I could use this to my advantage. Or I should use this to my advantage. How could I trick her? Trick her into what? Okay, well, if Zoe thinks that she can trick her, then sure. You? Oh, seriously? I've worked here for over a year now. You don't see the person, do you? Just the uniform. Oh, typical. Nice well, guilt trip. Uh, of course I recognize you. You're... Tara. I'm just heading up to the third floor to check some of the... Um, vending machines. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll see you later. Let me get the elevator for you. Oh yeah, guilt trip. Yeah, you middle class bitch. I'll take that elevator, thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> awkward. Hmm. No, nothing. Sorry. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Just clearing my throat. Dry air. Sorry. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. The air. Dry. Mm-hmm. Almost there. Leave the waiting area without an authorized escort. Thank you, and have a fulfilling and productive day. What a pleasant scanner bot. It basically just said, fuck you, have a nice day. Okay, I need an escort, huh? Or I need to go somewhere while it's not patrolling. Hmm, what do I have? Just a lockpick and my mobile. Let's see. How long does it take it to come back? Quite a while, it seems. You know, if it takes us long for, for it to patrol back, they might think about having two. Or more. They do, after all, produce robots, so it shouldn't be expensive for them to produce robots to patrol their own factory. Okay, is it ever coming back? All right. It's closed. There's, there's nothing there. What are you hiding from? I'm guessing if I can hide, then that's because it will come back at some point. It's closed. Ah, shit. Only one way to go. Okay, there we go. Seems like they're locked. Oh, shit. Which way are you going to go? Okay. Emergency exit. 
It's probably hooked up to an alarm system. Do, where, where did it just go? It's closed. It's closed. Alright, I better save. Alright, where's this? 